All right, this is part number one, or I guess I would call it part number two because I showed the Jeep before. Um, I'm replacing the engine in this. Uh, it runs, but it runs like shit, and it's got almost 300,000 miles on it. Um, so I'm putting a caravan engine in it, and I bought the caravan engine off of eBay for 350 bucks delivered, and uh, I went and picked it up in Danville today. So, um, can I see the rest of the Jeep? It's right-hand drive, uh, as I said in my last video. So, your Jeep might look a little different uh, from right to left. But basically, um, we're going to disconnect the whole engine, basically, from up here. You're going to take your uh, uh, fuel lines off, move all this stuff off. I'm going to take the radiator shroud. I don't think I'm going to have to take the radiator. Uh, I might put the AC pump and the power steering pump just to the side so I don't have to disconnect the lines um, and then of course I got my torque converter bolts and my flywheel bolts and someone said it's pretty hard to get to those uh, top two uh, rear engine bolts so I'm not sure if I'm gonna actually take this intake off and I think I'd be able to reach down there pretty easy then or if I'm gonna take the motor mounts out and drop the engine transmission uh, a little bit down so I can get to it so we'll see how that goes um, but I'm supposed to be getting this engine out today so but I've got my bike someone's getting ready to maybe buy it so we'll see uh, and this is the engine it looks pretty nasty actually it's from a 04 town and country and uh, yeah, it's pretty oily. It looked, looked a little better in the pictures. But um, I'm replacing the oil pan gaskets. I'm replacing the head gaskets. Um, the valve cover gaskets. I'm putting new lifters in it while I'm at it. Um, intake gasket. I mean, most of the gaskets are going to be replaced, so the oil doesn't really bother me. And i got to move all my different brackets. Front plate has to come off. i got a new oil pump, a uh, he uh, heavy-duty oil pump for it. And... They use the same flywheel, but I don't know. I might just throw the Jeep flywheel on there, be just, just in case. I don't want to put it all together and then all of a sudden it did not fire because it's got the wrong timing or something on the flywheel. So I'll probably use the Jeep flywheel. Use the Jeep intake, Jeep front plate, Jeep motor mounts, and oil filter mount on the is on the front of the Jeep cover over here, as opposed to on the town and country in the vans. It's over here. But other than that, the block is exact is identical. So we'll pressure wash it all up. Probably tomorrow I'll start swapping parts over and update these videos. Okay. Right, a little later on in the day, uh, same day, pulling this engine and um, had the before picture. And like I said, I moved the power steering out of the way. The AC I still took off, but um, I disconnected it because it actually wasn't under any pressure anyway. So. I'm sure the AC pump's bad or something's leaking. Something. So I'm going to have to redo that later. Took off the fan shroud. Um, this uh, old engine here, the bolt was broke. It looked like someone had just been recently through this and they kind of just shoved it back together just enough to, to make it run in and move around because they knew something was bad. So I've been watching a lot of these, uh, well, the few videos that are out there on removing this 3.8 out of this Jeep Wrangler. Um, and uh, everybody talks about how hard the back bolts are to get to and it's true if you have if you leave this intake on I don't know how the fuck you'd get to it my hands are way too big to even remotely close to fit back there but uh, I spent an hour trying to go from the side you know or this side and down took the inner fenders off and uh, I still couldn't even get remotely close so I took the intake off took me about 10 minutes and now you can get back there um, I don't know how good you're going to be able to see it, but uh, there's, a, there's a couple bolts back there. Um, they're 18, so now you can get to it easier. And I also took this wheel off, first of all, to get in to the uh, inner fender well to get those uh, bolts. And I just cut the exhaust. I never even try to take exhaust bolts off anymore. It's just a fucking headache. Just cut the motherfuckers and put new ones on. Um, I took uh, this tire off so that uh, not only could I get back there, but I could actually lower the Jeep down a little bit and then stand on the tire. And because 
although that's an, a, a very accessible engine bay, with these fenders and the bumper, you're, you're leaned so far over just to get in to work on anything, it's, it's nice to be a little elevated. But looks like it's got a brand new radiator in it too, so I'm not sure exactly what's going on with this old engine, but I don't really care because I'm not using it, so. Um, uh, let's see, starter is kind of a pain in the butt to pull out. Um, drop the front drive shaft, you definitely want to do that. Drop drive shaft, take the torque converter bolts out. Uh, I mean, all this stuff is pretty straightforward. Just a, it's always just kind of a pain in the ass. So, um, you got your motor mount there. And that's kind of why I took off this AC pump and stuff. Was it's easily, I can easily get to that now. Otherwise, the AC compressor was right in here and probably be more of a pain in the ass. Um, box for all your connectors. Uh, here, I'll show you the stuff down here that I already took off. You take this intake off in a sequence. You know, you got eight 10 millimeter bolts, so then that pops off. Then you have your fuel rail, you got, you know, four 10 millimeter bolts. You can pull that out, disconnect these few wiring to the sensors and then that will just come off with the whole harness come out of your way for you. And then you just got this. You got, uh, these are also 10 millimeter. You got one, two, well, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. And count six. Oh, two, four, six, eight. Eight all together and the front one's actually a 13 millimeter. All the other ones are 10. But, uh, where we're at right now. I still plan on trying to get this engine out tonight. I'll update here in just just a little bit. Okay, helpful tip. All right before I go to the ER to get my finger stitched up. Uh, take that metal plate out first because it, it hangs over on the back and I literally just cut the, the whole corner of my finger almost completely off just running it down. It, it's like a razor blade. And so the saw is just trying to, I also cut the smaller one, but the big one's just a flap of skin right now, so I'm going to go get it uh, stitched up. But I wanted to get this out tonight, but it ain't going to happen. I'll do it tomorrow. They better be able to give me something that I can work with, so that's it.